We be moving. All right, guys, here it is. The Mighty in Motion V12. Going out on its initial maiden voyage, which will be a very short voyage. I'm just gonna ride some of the cross streets around here. But I should at least be able to give you my initial impressions, and we'll go from there. I didn't even change the air pressure on the tire, which is probably higher than I would normally ride with, but that's fine. We're not going for any kind of craziness here. So here we go. The first the first meters on the InMotion V12 for me. And we're rolling. Cool, right? We are rolling and I can already feel that I'm gonna stop and put, uh, or I'm gonna let some air out of the tire. I just do not like a high pressure tire, guys. I do not. I remember when I first got my 16X, uh, when I did the trade for my Nikola 100 volt, um, the, uh, the, the gentleman that I traded with, he sent it to me. I think the tire had somewhere around 35 PSI on it or in it. Took it out in the road and I felt like I had terrible speed wobbles. And now part of that, it has to do with my riding stance. You know, the way that I uh, am bow-legged and my legs don't make uh, any contact with the shell on a regular basis. Oh, wow, yeah, you can see the, I can see the screen very clearly. So, but anyways, when I, uh, when I let a few PSI out of the tire, it feels way better. So we'll get down to the end here and we'll, we'll do that. Okay, let's, let's simulate what it looks like looking down. I have the, uh, the GoPro right at shoulder height looking down. Yeah, super visible, at least in the evening. <laughs> we'll see how it is, uh, you know, at noon. If it's all washed out, we'll see. So far, uh, feels pretty good between my legs. That's what she said. Okay, thanks to the handy dandy uh, pedal kill switch and the uh, the more stable the more stable stand kick building kickstand. It should not be difficult to do at all. Let's see. Can I depress the tire valve with my fingernail? I can. Just going by feel here. Okay, I think that'll be good, and I'll I'll put it on my digital, my digital pump, and I'll probably you know, try to keep it 28 psi between 28 and 30. I would guesstimate based on my preference with other wheels. We'll see how this one feels. Okay, let's resume. So the screen by default, and I'm, I have a feeling it's probably customizable. It shows you the uh, the speed. I'm not sure if you can switch it to uh, Imperial measurements there or not. I'll mess around. The battery voltage, the available mileage, and the battery in a bar graph fashion. So I guess that's, that's the basics. That's what you need, right? It would be nice if it had temperature there as well. But perhaps it's uh, tweakable. Perhaps uh, this thing can take a firmware update and add features. That'd be cool. Like my Tesla, right? Definitely prefer it with less air in the tire, definitely. Now, if you're the type that's gonna be jumping and hopping curbs, going downstairs, uh, lower the tire PSI at your own risk. Because uh, if you go too low, you, you damage, or you risk damaging the motor, you know, bending the rim. So, but since that's not really my riding style, I don't have that concern. Okay, just did a, uh, a little hard acceleration or you know uh, my my hard acceleration felt us uh, strong um, probably f feels similar to the Sherman acceleration uh, with uh, without pads maybe braking 
I have, whoa, there we go, my, my classic uh, speed wobbles while braking. I get that with every wheel, so don't be concerned. It's a byproduct of me not uh, squeezing the shell much. Braking is something that people said that it felt like it was a little weak in the braking department. I don't know if pads will help that a lot, but acceleration is good. We're doing over 53 kilometers an hour right now, according to the screen, so uh, that did not take long. Now, braking, oh man, if I can just, ah, get the, all right. Yeah, the, the braking does not feel uh, as, uh, as strong as the acceleration. Again, not a, not a concern uh, for me with the way that I ride. I'm not, I'm not leaving myself uh, razor thin margins. Uh, you know, usually I have a pretty sizable safety barrier around me, so it stops fine, but it definitely does not uh, stop as strong as, uh, I'm trying to think, even the V11, the V11 uh, actually stops very well. So this doesn't feel like it has quite the stopping power of the V11. So guys, I mean, we're cruising close to 30 and it feels rock solid. It does not feel like it's concerned about the speed whatsoever. Very, very, uh, very, very uh, calm at speed. Here we go again. Like I said, I was doing 53 kilometers an hour. It's a little, okay, now we're at 56. Now we're at 58. See, I think part of it has to do with it being so heavy. You know, uh, this this wheel, this is a 16-inch wheel. My original Gotway Monster weighed less than this did, or this does. My original Gotway Monster was like 160 pounds, or 160, 60 pounds, between 60 and 65. I think it was actually closer to 60. It was only the 1600 watt hour uh, wheel. So it weighed less than this 16-inch wheel. So you think about that, that's, uh, that's crazy. But a, a side effect of it is it helps the wheel feel planted and stable at speed. You know, the nice fat three inch tire, that's a big plus as well in this situation. This feels very, very good. You know, the, the maneuverability feels similar to the 16X, from what I recall my 16X but it just, it feels, uh, it feels more substantial. And that makes sense, right? And we're trucking here, guys. Let's see how it feels. Um, just doing some uh, you know, tight turns. Keep in mind, I do have the pedals at the same height as I got it, which I believe is the highest height give you maximum clearance, give you maximum uh, turning radius. Feels, uh, feels just fine. Feels like a 16 inch wheel should feel. All right, so I'm gonna do uh, my version of a high speed acceleration. I don't know how much of a appreciation you can get, you can get from this spot, but we'll, We'll do it anyways, why not? Maybe it'll make a good visual. All right, no pads, here we go. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, over leaned. <laughs> you, you can see those wobbles kicking in. Yep. Yeah, that was funny. I, my, I got too far over my, uh, my big feet and uh, almost came off the front end something pads helps with as well. We be moving. Yeah, if anyone tells you a uh, 16 inch wheel, not gonna be stable at speed. I can tell you, um, at least in the low 30s, it feels stable at speed. Yeah, this feels really good. I am pleased. I just took a glance at the uh, In Motion app. And of course, you know, apps are usually a couple miles an hour off. I'd have to test with the GPS, but it's, it says I hit 36.3 miles an hour already on the uh, V12. Uh, 
Faster already in the first uh, half hour than I ever went on a V11. It's good news, right? All right. The, the main road here is actually a little bit smoother. So more speed is possible. Yeah, I, I just glanced down. I mean, I was just under 60 kilometers an hour, according to the screen at least. Let's go down this side street here. How do those lights look? I believe it's on automatic, so it, it automatically turns on when it deems it's necessary. How do they look? How do those side lights look? I can't really tell from up here, so. Let me know what you think. I have, this is just the default light settings. I have not changed anything with the lights. Man, look at this w weird guy on an EUC. Look at this weird guy. <laughs> What's up? Hi, guys. <laughs> Jeremiah is here. I just got my V11 yesterday. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, okay. What are your dogs' names? What are their names? Bailey and Dakota. Hi, guys. This is the first time they've ever seen somebody else on one of these things. That's so funny. You told me you lived on the street, but I did not remember it. Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, my goodness. So exciting. This wheel's awesome. Good boy. Be quiet. Come here. It's okay. Hey, hey. Come here. Hey. Look. Look. If you want me to hold him for a minute, you're welcome to take a quick spin on it if you want. That's the... That's the V11. Okay. Or, I'm sorry, the V12. V12. It's the brand new V12. I was going to say, it doesn't look like a V11. No, nope. brand new V12. It's sweet. Right. Is it... How much better is it than the V11? Like night and day difference? Or? Well, it's different because it doesn't have suspension. Okay. But uh, I would compare it to like the 16X. It's like it's like a, a much improved version of the 16X. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll just hold them. You don't mind. They have their harnesses on, so they should. Let's hang out here, guys. You just got to pop the. Um... This is a good safety tip. Not to ride in flip flops. Yeah, yeah. Jeremiah is not dressed for the ride. You got to pop the the um, kickstand up. Just lock it into the mud guard, and that's it. Just get on and go. No no speed restrictions on it. It's unlocked. It can go up to 43 miles an hour. Hold on, guys. It's okay. He's coming back. It's smooth. Wait, wait, wait. I'll be back. He's coming back. Uh, this was not planned. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. I'm back. See? <laughs> See? Nothing Torture, happened. Torture's over. Nothing happened. It's okay. Uh, kickstand. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Has a, a four headlight, like a quad headlight yeah. configuration. 16? 16. Oh, wow. It's, a, it's the same form factor as the 16X, so it, it's crazy. The 16X um, it has the same width tire, the same size tire, basically. This shell is a little higher than the 16X. Okay. Right. But, um, yeah, it, it still feels maneuverable to me, much more maneuverable than the bigger wheels. Yeah. I'm digging it. That's cool. How long? You just got it today? I got it yesterday. I did, I did a live stream on my YouTube channel oh, okay. unboxing it last night, and oh, I just... Man. I had to get on it. I didn't get get to ride it last night, so I had to get on it. So <laughs> yeah, like, if you're off road, you get that more clearance, right? You're, and you can turn tighter because you got yeah. more clearance for the pedals, right. and um, it's it's sweet. It has these. This is like hard rubber for the bumper. So like, oh, if yeah, you would dump it for some reason, it, it's actually can withstand impact a little bit. So it's. And I would imagine that can also get replaced. Just that part. Right. Needed. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's good. Yeah. No. It's it's can a. Get a new helmet. Or? It's so depressing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I normally have a pond area, but now it's the whole mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. See you, Jeremiah. <laughs> if you ever want to take these two on a walk, let me know. I'll come to you. Yeah, no, I, I love dogs, man. All right. See you guys later. <laughs> funny stuff, huh? Funny, funny stuff. I'm sure Jeremiah told me where he lived at some point. I did not realize he was just uh, one street up. It's crazy. I don't remember. Did I mention again? I, I mentioned that I think I mentioned that I unlocked the top speed to 70 kilometers an hour on, during the live stream. I couldn't get it above 60. And um, to do so, it's actually simpler than with the V11. If you wanted to unlock a 35 mile an hour top speed, a 55 kilometer an hour top speed, you had to hit the advanced the advanced part of the menu five times or something like that. And then when you did that, you had a new option available in the menu called fancier mode. And fancier mode means faster mode. It allows you to unlock a higher top speed. With the V12, 
uh, there is just simply a, a two position button, normal and fancier. So hit fancier, you magically can up your top speed to 70 kilometers an hour. So that's cool. All right, so this has turned into uh, more of a video than I expected. But yeah, hey, who doesn't like V12 content, right? This, this feels really good. It really does. Okay, we're back at the house. It's probably uh, getting close to uh, supper time, so let's set it there. Yeah, see, like with the V11, you know, because I'm on the downward slope of the uh, the driveway, putting it this this orientation with a downward slope with a kickstand on the V11, you're asking for it to fall over. This feels more stable in that position, so I'm uh, I'm psyched about that. So fun first ride. Um, I had a very good impression of the wheel last night after doing the unboxing, just as just the fit and finish and the features. And after riding it, I can only say that those good feelings have uh, amplified and continued. So that makes me happy. I can't wait to dig into it further. Probably next up, I have to do a Dunkin' Donuts ride and I have to do a range test. Um, I'm going to try to get both of those things done by the end of this weekend. See how it clocks in in that kind of environment. I have a feeling just based on my testing here, it's going to do just fine. Nice little surprise getting to see Jeremiah. And uh, well, like I said, uh, during our conversation, we do need to get together again. And uh, I, I don't know if it's just me or it's just a, a problem with adulthood that sometimes you just, you, you, you forget to do things like that that are out of your, out of your normal wheelhouse, you know, your, your normal activities. So if you guys found this video interesting, please give it a big thumbs up. If this is your first time visiting the channel. Please think about subscribing. If you're going to subscribe, you can hit the notify bell. That's over there. Outside, it's over here somewhere. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts about the V12. Feel free to let me know if there's something specifically that I haven't talked about that you're interested in finding out. If, if I can find out for you, I will do what I can to do that, to check it, to test it, to, to uh, see what I can come up with. And that's all I'm going to have for you for this fine Wednesday evening. In the summertime, any, any night when it's not raining in Florida, it's a good night in my book. So, yeah, it's a good night. All right, guys, that's all I have. Till next time, Duff Man out.